everybody, it's Kaiser Van Gosheim. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the seventh episode of One Division, which actually, like, they've started to add the titles. Like, before it used to just be episode one, episode two. So now they're calling this the Breaking the Fourth Wall. I'm super excited. We were left on the biggest cliffhanger an episode could have. Well, mm. <laughs> well, we've had big cliffhangers, but this episode was big and... I'm so excited to watch this episode and just it's gonna be amazing. Now you're probably wondering, Shimi, why are you wearing blue again? So me and the boys were talking 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 over the weekend and we were talking about the fact that the scientist that Monica could be bringing in is I couldn't remember his name but I remember his super like super name which is Blue Marvel and people are sort of theorizing that day I think it's not John David Washington obviously Denzel Washington's son is going to be cast in this particular role but also I thought that this makeup could also lead into the Fantastic Four so if it's either one of them I could be right still but yeah you know what I mean but I'm so excited to watch this episode either way um theories going forward I am um, we're going to the early 2000s I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of like unstable uh, moments with Wanda especially because now she's got a bigger perimeter Darcy's going to be there too so that's another thing we're gonna I'm excited to see what Darcy's going to look like in this episode or like Alex said in the aftermath and a quick plug um, if you don't know what the aftermath is it is a podcast and just a conversational video type of format that me and the Basden brothers have um, we um, talk about everything to do with the TV shows we love and at the moment we're talking about WandaVision and that is where we talk about the pros and cons of this episode and mostly pros at the moment because we're absolutely loving this series and we also talk about possible theories that we have and also the internet have and if it's going to be like if it's like really going to be true or not like which one's got the highest bet sort of thing but recently we were talking about how um the sort of like the field that um well, perimeter that Wanda has extended may take a life of its own and may take over the planet because in the comic book that's what happens and um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of other things and there's a lot of things with mutants involved which a lot of people are thinking that now that this is happening mutants are finally going to get involved in the MCU but enough of that, we're going to leave it there because I want to just jump into this episode so ugh. but before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies and video games so without further ado, let's jump straight into this oh, this is the modern family like era Where's Pietro? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. Oh my god, Wanda! Am I right? Oh, I feel like this format is perfect for like this episode. Oh. Each the team has everything they him. need. We launched today. Yes, sir. Launch today? Okay. We better meet this per this scientist of Monica's this episode. Starting to believe that everything is meaningless. I mean, you're welcome to draw your own conclusions, of course, but that's not just where I'm at. <laughs> Wanda! Okay, so maybe I went a little too dark there. But they'll be fine. Vision is made of vibranium. They literally inherited tough skin. Mm. Hayward wasn't decommissioning Vision. He was trying to bring him back online. Nothing worked until Wanda stole Vision's body. Someone has to tell Wanda. Wait! Alex was right then! So obviously, like, yeah, Haywood was trying to bring Vision back. Whether it was Ultron or just Vision and turn him into a weapon. Into Ultron or another weapon. But, like, now it makes sense. Because even I was thinking, like, why... Did, like, Haywood hold on to that information, the fact that Wanda had, like, gone into, like, the, um, headquarters two days before they had- he showed the footage to them. And I was like, that's weird. So he had to have known and then decided to share the information when it was suitable. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, because of Wanda, he's- uh, Vision is alive. And now that he's alive, Haywood's trying to get Vision. Oh... Who's Haywood working for? Is it Hydra or is he Mephisto? That's the thing. Oh, okay. Do we get to see the scientist? Let me show you what we brought you. Is she the scientist? No. And what's happening? Why it's... 
why it's all falling apart and why I can't fix it. Mm. Do you think maybe this is what you deserve? Who the fuck is that? Excuse my language. You're not supposed to talk. Wait, what did he say? Maybe this is what you deserve. What? Who is that? Damn, shit, it's getting real right now. Is this a metaphor for her seeing Mephisto? Or Nexus? Wait. Hold on. That sounds familiar. Nexus? No, that's Nexus what, Fortnite. I'm not looking for that bullshit. Nexus Thor. No, that's Fortnite. Okay, that had nothing to do with it. That's why it sounded familiar, but never mind. Four, three, two, Don't be down! That's so cool! Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh heck yes! Oh, her eyes permanently changed color. Oh! Or is that her powers? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's her superpowers. Covered into check. You do is lie! Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Wonder created beauty! Don't let him make you the villain. Yeah, Wonder. Yeah, oh! I kinda want that too. Oh! That's. That has to be Agatha Harkness! Come on! Oh, come on! Wonder's trying to stop her. Oh my god. Or oh, it might- that might be Agnes or Agatha stopping her. To me it feels like it happened to someone else, you know, but for her, it's mere weeks ago. Mm. True! Forgot about that. This is absurd! I need to get my wife. <laughs> yes! Oh wait, where are the kids? Wait. Wait! Did she turn them into animals? Is that Ag Ag Agatha? Or Mephisto? Has to be those two. Come on. Uh oh, something's gonna happen. What? Oh, why is it suddenly like horror? Why am I scared? This is Marvel! But this is probably what it's gonna be like in Doctor Strange. Because apparently it's gonna be either M or M A. Oh! The, the screen chain! <gasps> is it Agatha? It has to be Agatha. I think you were the only magical girl in town, did you? Yeah! That's Agatha! The name's Agatha Harkness. Yes! I'm to finally meet you. Knew it! <gasps> Me too. <gasps> oh, she's evil! Sorry for the really shitty quality, but I <laughs> I went through the credits and I saw that there's something at the very end of um, the uh, episode. Sorry, my files are all like coming out because I'm like, oh, there we go. <laughs> the files are all being exported right now because I'm like trying to edit. But then I saw, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna look back while they're they're all moving. But there's one more scene at the end, so I'm gonna quickly react to it. It's very short, I think, but we're gonna react to it like right now. Monica, don't hurt my Monica. Sweater gone. Oh! She can see it. <gasps> Evan! Oh my god. What did he say? Snooper's gonna snip. <gasps> oh no! Are they gonna capture Monica? <gasps> Oh lord, that's the thing we're gonna have to talk about in Aftermath. Oh no! Because even it said, I was looking at the credits, it said Evan Peters, I was like, no, the back of him was only shown, but 
That explains why now. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, watch the rest of the video, guys. Okay, so she's the one involved. She's the one who's helped because, yeah, based on Marvel Comics speaking about that, like, th yeah, Agatha Harkness is the one who tells her to go and see what Haywood's doing and tells tells her because hey I don't think Haywood is in the comics, but she Agatha Harkness goes and tells. Wonder that they're experimenting with his body, and that's why she ends up finding out, and then she makes that world where they can be together. Oh my lord. <laughs> that's awesome! And I love how instantly the mood just changed. It was so good. And also, we're gonna talk about Monica getting her powers! Oh my god! This is the new beginning for Marvel! And then Photon! So she's obviously gonna be in Captain Marvel 2. So excited. And just great to see that she was like, we saw a lot of her powers this time. You know, like her getting through the barrier, and then obviously her withstanding Wanda. That's great. And it just shows like sort of, not character development, but just like, it's, it sort of is, kind of. Because it's like, you know, the first time she couldn't handle it and now she can so it's it makes me happy and it's just it's great to see that happening for monica and paris because paris is such an amazing actress i've seen her in a few things so to see her get this role and now she's photon it's so good and i cannot wait to see her in more um so we didn't see the scientist i think or it might have just been that woman goodman i think that's her name Hey, that's a little bit anticlimactic, but still, at least my makeup sort of matched the, the theme, which was Monica's powers. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Overall, I think this w episode was a little, like, I don't know, not long, but I, I don't know. I think it was, like, drawn out a little bit more than others, but it was good. The tension was up the whole time, and I love this, like, um, fourth wall thing, like, obviously the 2000s setup, so which was sort of like the modern family, sort of like, um, sitcom style use of obviously the fourth wall breaking, but, but Wanda talking to us and telling, you know, like, she doesn't really care, like, she, th she doesn't know what's going on, when in reality, we all know that she knows in the back of her mind something's up, and her powers are playing up. So this was, yeah, it was sort of us being like, Wanda, you know what you did, you know what you did, but it was her just denying it, which is great. And then I love we saw the unstable, like, manner of this whole world breaking apart. It's great. And it's great to see it in just great detail. It's it's so good. And then, finally, it's been confirmed that Agatha Harkness is in the show. Because, obviously, this has been multiple times been said by many people, including me and Alex, that this was Agatha Harkness all along. And we were right. And I'm I'm proud to sort of be right. Because, like, that was, like, a long time coming. And we were, like, saying, you know, like, this was in the comics. This is probably the storyline. Either Agatha is helping her or she is Wanda's enemy. And a lot of the time I thought it was... Mephisto because obviously Mephisto does end up like creating like the children and that's he does say like that's a piece of his soul that he just cre used to create the children and it was sort of like a like um what is it it was like a uh, an illusion but also it was sort of used as a tool to get at Wanda and obviously use her so that's why I was thinking like it has to be Mephisto and maybe he might have some part in it. I really want him to. But, um, I, I, yeah, I would really, really like to see if Mephisto is going to be involved. Because I really want him to be in the MCU. Like, I know, like, a, like it's, like, kids won't, like, I don't know, we'll probably get scared. But, you know, like, I watched all these superhero films, like, with the original Spider-Man trilogy and stuff. I used to get the, the goblins scared me. I had nightmares for weeks. Um, so, yeah, let the kids get scared a little bit because it's good for them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just bring Mephisto in. I really want him in the series. Um, but, yeah, I feel like there has to be another part to this. So, I'm feeling like Mephisto might be in it. Um, I'm really hoping it. Hoping, hope, hoping, hoping that Mephisto is in this show because he's so cool. But anyway, that's a dream we'll hold, put on pause for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this week's episode of WandaVision, obviously breaking the fourth wall. And oh, it was so good. Absolutely loved it. I just want to touch upon one subject just before I finish up. The kids. So are they permanently going to be like animals or are they going to be um 
changed back into, you know, normal kids. Or were they illusion all along? So that's going to be interesting, um, whether that was an illusion or if it's going to be actually real. Because obviously everything that happens so far is real. But it'll be interesting if this illusion does fall and this reality fades, will they be able to live or not? So that's going to be interesting to see what happens. But, oh, my mind is racing and just, oh... Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, that scientist, is that just a thing they use to throw us off the scent of Agatha Harkness? Or is it just like, are we, have we still not seen that person? So, eh, it's going to be interesting to see. But overall, I'm just glad that we actually got to see Monica's powers like in the works in WandaVision. Because I was like, oh, we're probably not going to see her turn into like a hero, like a superhero now. We're probably going to see her in Captain Marvel, which made me sad because I was like, I really want to see her. But thank god they did that was so so good and yeah again i'm gonna quickly touch upon one more thing just that end part of the episode especially when you just see the vines i was like no 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 like <laughs> that gave me like like fear in my heart i don't know why it's just it was like horror and i was like nope no 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 stay away <laughs> so i cannot wait for next week's episode because now i think we're gonna be in that like normal marvel like the, the the really small film border thing you know what i mean the the ratio screen ratio <laughs> i think we're going to be in that one for the next two episodes which makes sense it's good to end on that then um but yeah i'm excited to see what's in store for us because it's gonna be so good so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!